So these are the visa sponsored jobs that you're going to use to relocate to Canada as a construction helper or a construction work worker. Remember, visa sponsored means that the uh, employer is going to take care for you, of your ticket, of your visa application processes, of everything. And sometimes these employers take care of the dependents visas that you're going to be carrying with you. So if you have a family member, you might find one of these companies going to pay for their visa as well. So the first company is GRD Construction Limited. They have 10 vacancies. They are going to give you $26 per hour for 40 hours per week. It is a permanent employment. So once you relocate, you become a permanent resident after two or three years after your application. This you should know how to speak in English so that you can be able to communicate with your employer and also the people that you're going to be working with at the construction sites so you don't need to have any education degree or diploma for the experience they say that they're going to be training you work setting is in various locations relocation costs are covered by the employer so you should be willing to relocate the responsibilities are going to be loading unloading and transporting construction materials erecting the dis and dismantling concrete forms scaffolding ramps catwalks shoring and barricades mixing, pouring, and spreading materials, assisting heavy equipment operators, removing rubble and other debris at construction sites, tending or feeding machines or equipment used in construction, directing traffic or near construction sites. So this job is available to Canadian citizens and also other candidates with or without Canadian work permit. How to apply is by sending your application letter or uh, cover letter and your resume to this email provided here. And I am going to give you an example of what you should do about this. So do not worry if you have no idea how to go about it. The second job on our list is from Best Touch Construction Limited. They have five vacancies. They're also going to give you $26 per hour, 40 hours per week, and it is a permanent employment. Same as the first one, they need you to have English proficiency, and this is not IELTS exams. This is just knowing how to speak in English. Then you don't need to have any education, certificate, or diploma for the experience they are going to teach you and for the work setting is in various locations and they are going to give you costs uh, they are going to take care of the relocation cost the responsibilities are going to be loading and loading and transporting construction materials erecting and dismantling concrete forms scaffolding ramps catwalks shoring barricades uh, mixing pouring and spreading materials assisting heavy equipment operators, assisting in framing houses, erecting walls and building roofs, leveling the earth to find grade specification, paving and raking asphalt, uh, assisting in demolishing buildings, cleaning up chemical spills and all other jobs uh, tasks over here. The employer is willing to uh, accept uh, Canadian residents and other candidates with or without a Canadian work permit and you're going to send your application to this email provided over here. Our third job on the list is from uh, Treeline Project Management Limited. They have four vacancies. They are going to give you $18 uh, for 40 hours per week. So this is the job that has the least amount of salary. The others are $26 or $21, $22, but this one is 18. However, they are going, they, 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 the requirements are just English, that you know how to speak in English. You don't need to have any education, certificate or diploma. You don't need to have any experience. They are going to train you. The employer is willing to cover your relocation costs. So the responsibilities are the same as the first ones. They're loading, unloading, and transporting construction materials, erecting, dismantling, and concrete forms, scaffolding, all that, mixing and pouring spread materials, assisting in drilling and blasting rocks on construction site, assisting in framing houses, erecting walls, and building roofs. So you can see the same tasks that have been mentioned by the other companies are the same. So the experience and specialization is construction specialization. At least if you have 
of industry or commercial or institutional construction experience, it is going to be an advantage for you. You're going to be handling heavy loads and the job is physically demanding. You should be able to lift at least 48 kilograms of loads. You're going to be applying by sending your email to this job and I'm going to show you how to send your email and also the resume, an example of a resume that is you're going to use to send the application. The fourth job on the list today for construction workers is a construction electrician helper and this company is MSD Electrical Limited. They need two people to work for this job. They are going to be paying you $21 for 40 hours per week. It is a permanent employment. The only thing you need to have is English. You don't need to have any education. A certificate or diploma you don't need uh, to have experience because they are going to train you the relocation costs are covered by the employer so it is a visa sponsored job and then the responsibilities are loading unloading and transporting construction materials cleaning and piling salvaged materials removing rubble and other debris at construction sites so it is a very simple task that anybody can be able to do with or without experience so the job is available to canadian citizens and also anyone outside canada with or without a work permit how you're going to apply is by sending your application letter to this email and you can send it by fax which is by the physical address provided over here so i will leave the links to all of these jobs so that you will be able to find them and send your applications so our fifth job today for the visa sponsored uh, uh, construction workers we have another one from Spotlight Electrical Inc. They are looking for a construction electrician helper. And then the job is two vacancies for $21 per hour, 40 hours per week. It is going to be a permanent employment. So the requirements are that you need to know how to speak in English. You should not have any degree, certificate or diploma. So if you don't have that, it's okay. Then the experience they are going to be training you and the relocation cost will be covered by the employer. The responsibilities are loading, unloading and transporting construction materials, cleaning and piling salvaged materials, removing rubble and other debris at construction sites. The job then you will apply by sending your application to this uh, email provided over here and I will provide the link on the description part of this video. The sixth job is from Akam Electrical Limited. They have, uh, they are looking for construction electrician helpers and they need you to fill two job vacancies. So they will pay you $21 for 40 hours per week and it is a permanent employment. So the same uh, job requirements, English, no education, they will train you, relocation covered, the same tasks and responsibilities. And then you should be able to apply by sending your application to this email provided over here. Ultra Mechanical Limited, they have two vacancies. It is $22 per hour for 35 to 40 hours per week. The same requirements, English, they are going to train you, relocation covered, and then the same uh, tasks and responsibilities as the one mentioned above. So as you can see, we have uh, so many construction helper worker or worker jobs that you can use to migrate to Canada. So what I'm going to show you right now is an example of the cover letter that you can use to attach to your email so that you can be able to send the job application. So we have a cover letter that I have already created for you guys, which is available. I'm going to screenshot it and leave it in the community tab. So anyone that wants to go and read it at their own pace can be able to do that. What you're going to write is your address, your name, your address, your telephone number, and your email, and then the company name, depending on the companies that I've shared, their addresses, their telephone numbers, and then their email addresses. From there, you write Dear Hiring Manager. The reference or the title will be the application for the construction worker 
or helper position. I am intrigued by the opportunity to work for the leading construction company in Western Canada. Your company's dedication to customer service satisfaction is one of the reasons I feel suitable as a construction helper since quality of services to the people I serve is one of my driving principles. I also believe it is the most important element that drives the success of a construction company, especially in a diversified and globalized community of Canadians in the location of your farm. Having worked as a construction worker and supervisor before gives me an upper hand in the construction worker position in your company because I understand all the necessary cleaning, safety, and compliance needs necessary for high client satisfaction. My current construction team of workers and I have improved our farm's clientele from 100 customers in three months to 50 in a month by simply following orders, participating in available training sessions, and coordinating effectively on site. Consequently, customers have been referring their friends and relatives with construction needs, reducing the company's marketing and advertising cost by 70%. Given the opportunity, I will utilize my team player and uh, uh, construction knowledge and skills to increase the increase the number of referrals of your company receives per month by reducing marketing costs and increasing sales in the long run. Kindly find the attached resume for my details on my experiences and education. Thank you for your time and consideration. I look forward or I hope to talk to you soon in an interview to discuss my experience with how my experience will contribute positively to the legacy your company has created in the past decades. So this is a simple uh, cover letter or the message that you're going to use to include in the email. So when you take the email, you can actually just copy this and uh, this part and then you send it to your the job uh, that you're going to be applying to increase the chances of you getting hired. So this is the example of the resume that you can use to apply for the construction worker hel or helper jobs. You write your name up above over here. You write your telephone number, your email address, and then your LinkedIn profile if you have one. The professional summary you just summarize in a very few words what you have been doing. So here you have said that it is an experienced construction worker with two years of experience in painting, flooring, framing, cabinetry, and uh, drywall. So those are the main jobs that these companies have mentioned. So that is what I have created as an example. Then the skills are ability to load and unload the construction materials, driving skills of uh, from any transportation needs, ability to clean and pile salvaged materials. So basically I have used the information that they have provided in the description to create the resume. Then when you're creating the work experience part of it, you, you indicate the role that you are working in, the company you are working for, and the time you started working to the time that you are you ended. And if it is what you're doing right now, you say current. You decade that from, uh, you, you write the roles that you are doing, you direct and participate, you work, you, you're going to see all of this in the community tab. Or if you can be able to read from here, it's still okay. So that is the simple example of a resume that you can use to apply for this visa sponsored construction jobs and you find yourself in Canada once the employer is enticed by your application. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, bye bye.